Hey church family, I wanted to bring you inside the work site today so that you can get a feel for the amount of work that is taking here, a place here on the campus of First Baptist Dallas. Behind me, you can see some of the equipment that we have supporting our worship center building, generators and chillers, temporary power, that is getting that operational again. And you can see the extent of the work that's being performed on our historic sanctuary now. There are beams that are holding those walls in place, the scaffolding structure that's being erected around it, all to secure those exterior walls and secure the site as we begin to do some selective demolition on the inside of that sanctuary. You'll see those beams that are being erected all the way down the side of these sanctuary walls to hold these uh, walls in place so that we can continue our work in the days ahead. Now, as I've shared with you already, it's not just the historic sanctuary that's been affected. It's really our whole campus and especially our neighboring Criswell Center. So you can see some of the work that's being performed here on the Criswell Center as well. On the night of that fire, the basement of the Criswell Center was flooded. It knocked out our chillers in that basement. It knocked out our power that's in that basement. And so we're getting some temporary systems in place so that we can get the Criswell Center back online as soon as possible. That's not gonna be a short-term project. That's gonna be a long-term project. But you can see some of the things that are being done even now. Again, we've got generators, we've got temporary chillers. We're doing everything we can to mitigate the damage in that building as well. So we're taking the proper steps at this time to get our worship center back online so we can come back to worship, to make sure our Horner Family Center is ready for our children re to return to Sunday school. And we've got a plan to get adult Sunday school classes meeting again as soon as possible. Again, we're taking the steps necessary to secure the walls around the historic sanctuary. And once that is completed, then we'll be able to resume the investigation into this fire. We'll be again to clear the site inside uh, those exterior walls. And we'll be able to begin dreaming about uh, what will be erected and constructed in that site in the days ahead. At the same time, we'll be doing everything we can uh, to uh, restore the use of our Criswell Center so that we'll be able to return to that site and resume ministry across our entire campus. So church family, we wanna keep you informed. We want you to understand how much work is being done here and also what you'll see uh, when you come back to worship, hopefully this Sunday. So again, the things I'd like you to pray for this week, one, be praying for our ability to return to our worship center for worship on Sunday, two, be praying for the continued ministry of our church, that not only will we maintain what we were doing before, but we'll be able to accomplish even more. And finally, pray against spiritual warfare, spiritual attacks against our church. We know that we're in a spiritual battle, but we know that our God is greater and nothing can stand against him. Church family, we love you and we're praying for you. And I can't wait to be with you again this Sunday.